I'll be demonstrating how to make convertible mittens, also known as flip top mittens. Uh, we start with completing the fingerless glove portion of the mitten pattern. And then what I like to do is two rows before the ribbing begins, I place a lifeline through the top of the hand stitches. And this will aid me in picking up stitches to begin the flip top. So as you can see, I have the lifeline, this orange yarn running through each stitch. There's a right leg of each stitch is underneath, and actually the yarn goes underneath the right leg of every stitch. It is above this lifeline that there's a bar that we are going to pick up and knit, and that is going to attach the convertible top or the flip top to the fingerless glove. So we start by, here's the very first stitch. You can see there's the right leg of it. I'm gonna go underneath with my needle tip, underneath that bar right above my lifeline, and I'm gonna join the yarn. So just leave yourself you know, about a four inch tail that you can weave in later. And for that first stitch, I just kind of secure uh, the loop around my needle, and then just pull that stitch underneath that bar. So this is actually a pick up and knit. So now I'm going to go to the next stitch. So again, here is my lifeline running under that right leg of the neighboring stitch. And above that lifeline, we can see a bar right in the middle of the stitch right above it. There's where we're going to pick up. It's actually the row below the ribbing. So now my needle's underneath that bar, wrap my yarn around, and draw through a loop. So two have been pick up and knit. Go to the next stitch, and it's very obvious by the lifeline running underneath that right leg of it. Now here it almost looks like you're going into that purl stitch, but you're not. Just wiggled right in there. Let's see if I can pull it apart so you can really see it. There's that bar right above my lifeline. Go underneath that bar, wrap your yarn around, and draw a loop through. You will pick up one stitch for each stitch across the top of the hand. In this example, I have 18 stitches. So I will work my way across, always finding the lifeline and the bar above it. It's that bar above the lifeline that we're gonna pick up and knit. I've been picking up and knitting all along the top of the hand, and it brings me to the last stitch on the top of the hand. You can see my lifeline is under the right leg of that stitch. Right above it is the last bar I will pick up. I go underneath that last bar, knit that stitch or draw through a loop. So now we have 18 stitches across the top of the hand, and now it's time to cast on the seam number for the back of the hand. So I turn my work to the wrong side. And how we add the remaining stitches, in this instance 18, we'll use the cable cast on method. If you're unfamiliar with that, I recommend that you watch my cable cast on video. And I'll give you a quick little lesson here. So I go in between the first and the second stitch, putting my knitting needle in from front to back, wrap my yarn around, draw through a loop, leaving that original stitch on the left-hand needle. I'm going to go under it with the left-hand needle and pop it right back on there. So that's one cast on. And I repeat that. Go in between the first and second stitch, wrap your yarn around, drawing through a loop to the front, go underneath it with the left-hand needle and pop it back on the left-hand needle. So two have been cast on. So I'm going to continue doing that until I have cast on the same number of stitches that I did on the top of the hand. So I have cast on all the stitches for the palm onto the same uh, needle that I have the top of the hand stitches, but now it's time to divide these stitches to begin knitting in the round. If you are working with double points, you will slip the palm stitches onto a double point or, and divide those into two so that you have three needles. Or if you're working the magic loop like me, you will just pull your needle through 
And then at the halfway point, which is 18 and 18, I just gently pull my cord through to get my magic loop loop. And then with your stitches, making sure they are not twisted, I'm going to start knitting in the round. So get all set up here. So here is my working yarn. I will, for magic loop, draw out my needle. If you're on double points, you'll just grab your fourth needle there. And I will just start knitting across these picked up stitches in the pattern that you are working on. So you continue really the top of the hand pattern as you're knitting. So when you are finished with this, you'll take your I'll see if I can get this organized here for you. The beginning of the round where we joined our yarn, I'll just put that on a um, tapestry needle and bring that to the inside and weave it in. So let me show you what this looks like when it's all done. So here is my unleashed flip top or convertible mitten pattern. So you can see there's just a slight pattern interruption where I picked up the stitches. I have a really nice flip top that fits over my fingerless glove here. So once you've picked up and start knitting in the round, you'll continue your top of the hand pattern and working in the decreases as described in your pattern. And you end it with the few remaining stitches, work a tiny little eye cord. And I have a video on how to use, uh, how to knit an eye cord. And you're good to go with your convertible flip top mittens. Happy knitting.